Hi guys, and welcome to Z-Code System, a place where professional sports investors find all the tools they need to win big. Today, I will show you several case studies of the line reversals tool for NFL and how to cold read these lines. By that, I mean that we try to predict the outcome only based on line moves and public percentages without knowing anything about the game at all. So you can see how powerful this tool really is. Let's take several recent examples from NFL games. Classic pattern number one, move against the favorite. Let's look at the Atlanta Falcons versus the Carolina Panthers game. As you can see, the line for the favorite Carolina opened at minus 278 and slowly moved all the way against the favorite into the closing line of minus 204. Despite the 60% majority of public betting on Carolina, the line kept on getting better and better. This is a clear indication of a Vegas trap. So our bet would be on the Falcons to cover. The result? Atlanta Falcons 29, Carolina Panthers 3. The Falcons not only covered, but even won the game outright. Another great example from the same day is the Arizona Cardinals versus the San Francisco 49ers. As you can see, the public was really heavy on the 49ers, with almost 90% of bets on them, while the line kept moving in the opposite direction. Our anti-public bet would be Cardinals to cover the plus 10.5 spread, which of course, they won. There are a few more examples on the same day. For example, the Denver Broncos at the Minnesota Vikings. We had the Broncos to cover the plus 10.5 point spread, which won, and the Chicago Bears at Los Angeles Rams, with the Bears to cover plus 7, which lost. So it's not a crystal ball after all. The classic pattern number 2, move in favor of the favorite. The classic example of the same day is the Cincinnati Bengals at the Oakland Raiders. You can see how the majority of the public bet on the favorite, the Raiders. The line moved in their direction the whole day without any reversals, and the Raiders easily won. Another example of the same pattern from the same day is the Buffalo Bills versus the Miami Dolphins. The Bills easily won that game as well. The rest of the games with the same pattern went four wins and zero losses, which is outstanding for a cold read. Check. New England Patriots win. Baltimore Ravens win. Dallas Cowboys win. This pattern is great for setting parlays on the favorites. Finally, if there is no clear pattern, we should avoid or pass such games and never force a play. Here is an example of a messy line. New York Jets versus Washington Redskins. The public was spiking from 20% to 40% on the favorite. The line moved up and down. It's a complete mess and a signal to avoid such a game. So to summarize, the line reversal signal, we have two possible scenarios. There are games where bookies know the outcome for sure, so to speak. Based on insider info, syndicate bets, stats, locker room insiders, lots of different things. And these bookies move the public to the wrong side on purpose. Such games show a clear pattern and most likely win and go as planned. You can argue that nobody knows the outcome up front, but then again, how do the bookies set the spread so precisely every time? They do know that the public loves the favorites and overs and puts the line extremely sharp on such games. Number two, other games where bookies don't know the outcome or expect to close anyone's ball game. They can't control such games and simply move the line by the market to balance the bets on both sides. Such line reversals charts show a messy line because the real market bets can never show a clean pattern. Only a controlled game can show a clean line move. Here is what the experienced better old school has to say about the reason why it works so well. In general, the public loves favorites and overs. That's why the books generally need the dogs and the unders. Of course, there are exceptions. If someone likes the Pats, that is a casual better, which comprises the majority of the tickets, but not the majority of the money, 
it doesn't matter a lot to them whether it's minus three and a half or minus six. In their mind, the Pats are going to win and they'll probably win by a touchdown. So they're just going to play them anyway. As simplistic as this is, it's just boring to root for the unders as you want your team to score as many points as possible. So people tend to like the overs. That's why so many of our top expert picks are on underdogs. The inflated lines due to the public perception creates the value in the underdog. That's all for today, guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And don't forget to join Z Code VIP Club to unlock all bets and all tools and start winning with us today. So we'll see you inside, guys.